Rise and shine, 731 on a Friday Eve, or if you like to say Friday Junior. Do your thing. Thank you for waking up with us here on Fox 61. I'm Symphony Privet. Yeah, good morning, guys. So details are still coming in this morning, but here's what we do know so far. We've learned Russian forces launched at least 60 missile strikes across Ukraine this morning. And those strikes happening in at least four cities and folks across the country waking up to air raid alarms this morning. A sea of blue outside of Bristol Hospital this morning as, you know, first responders from surrounding areas just continue to pour in. Uh, looks like the first responders are gathering here, guys. I'm not sure what they will be discussing. Uh, just hang tight as uh, we try to make out what's going on here. We're outside of the Bristol Police Department where, you know, this memorial just has continued to grow since that devastating incident last week. And even this morning, even before the sun came up, the Bristol community really just uh, showing up here in droves to support the department as they deal with this devastating law. Tomorrow marks 10 years since the tragic shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School that killed 26 students and teachers. One Newtown church wants to give the community a space to reflect and heal, starting with a musical performance last night. Fox 61's Brooke Griffin joining us in the studio this morning with how you can participate as well. Good morning, Brooke. Nearly 24 hours since the polls closed here in Connecticut, and Representative Johanna Hayes has officially won the state's 5th Congressional District, beating Republican challenger George Logan. Now, many expected this to be a tight race, and it was. The Associated Press saying she won by just under two. 2,000 votes. Good morning to you, Sunshine. Let's take a look at how the morning commute is shaping up so far. As Rachel said, it's cold out there, so maybe you want to, you know, give your, your car, get your car started earlier and get it all warmed up before you head out the door. All right, statewide, looking good so far, aside from a bit of construction happening out there. However, I do want to let you know about a little bit of a slowdown. Uh, this happening on 95 South and Bridgeport. Traffic is slowed down out there, moving at nine miles an hour now. So we have a common Comedy icon in Studio 61 this morning. Drum roll. Good morning, Tommy. Thank you. Davidson. I'm shining. Good God. I got I got a, I got a, I got a, a little burst of powder. Yeah, I got a... It's Wendy Williams. How you doing? Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Making her return, but not to TV. She's going back to her radio roots. Just and the parents, you know, her. you gotta, you can't pour from an empty cup. Now, I don't have kids. So Y'all will probably all look at me like, girl, shut up. No, <laughs> what do no, you know? No, you're right. You're right. Um, but, you know, you, you gotta pour into yourself. You gotta have a life, too. So don't forget you but, are a person. But I will, I, I'll say this. And we're gonna Mama gotta have a life, too. Well, well, some people like that stuff. Now, I don't know how you guys get down up here in the East Coast, but down south at the Walmart, it goes down over yeah. bath towels, okay? <laughs> yeah. I've heard some stories. My milkshake brings all the ducks to the yard. Yeah, <laughs> hanging out with the place to be here at the Big E this morning. Here, if you're just tuning in this morning, I uh, want to show you got my pal Jenny Boom Boom out of the studio. We are both on site here yes. at Lake Compounds. A necklace made with of fingers. Fingers, fingers okay. yes, okay. Okay, the fog, um, so. got some guts, <laughs> gut stew. All right. You suck ah! for me. <laughs> They're gonna get you. Kanye West. Yes. Your boy, is, he's clowning. Well, there's a lot going on with Kanye West right now. <laughs> Speaking of ugly stuff that people are just gonna buy anyway. Uh, I mean, if they give Viaga, me one, if they give me one, I'm wearing it. Jenny I'm... says, if somebody else has their coin, I'm rocking it. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Lottery fever rages on as you guys have another chance to win that $1.2 billion jackpot. Of course, we want to know what you would do if you hit it big. Like Diddy said back in 97. What y'all want to do? Want to be ballers, shot callers? Hopefully not brawlers. Let's go ahead and check out some of your responses I'm here. Never. <laughs> the show isn't the only thing you've been cooking up. We know you from, you know, your social media presence, whether that's, you know, you've been introducing families to uh, plant-based eating or your products, taking mm -hmm. care of Donna. You have a seasoning with McCormick and you've got a book, just a lot on the horizon for you. Yes, honey, so much. Honey, Tab been busy. When I look at it all, when people say it, I'd be like, Lord, when did I do it? I'm introducing you guys to the Hartford based organization Girls for Technology. Now, they work to improve economic mobility of young girls and women in underserved communities, creating the next generation of innovators and entrepreneurs right here in Connecticut. I realized there were some inequities um, within the Hartford public school systems and wanted to bring uh, STEM enrichment. Hey, Sunshine, we've got one more look at what's making the rounds online in the buzz this morning. Snoop Dogg, you know, he dominated rap back in the 90s, and we see him doing a little bit of everything these days, from cooking with Martha Stewart to narrating animal documentaries. Well, let's take a look at his latest venture. 
There is no one better to be than myself. Listen, listen, if my nephew wants to play that, I'm going to be in the living room, like, doing your own dances. Yeah. yeah. Nobody better to be than myself. That's right. <laughs>